got a nail here and I'm going to take and poke some holes down through here where the lip of the top goes in here just so the paint will drain down through there and I won't have to struggle trying to clean that up so much. The reason why, go ahead now clean that right up. Now all that paint that's in that lip is going to go right down that little slot there and not trouble us so that when we put the top back on it won't splash at us. Now here's a method of mixing. First I'm going to reach down in the bottom. It's got a little tiny bit of sediment down in the bottom. You can feel it. I'm going to go around the bottom a little tiny bit, but if you really want to get it mixed up, that's the way it's done right there. Okay, that's a real good way of, of mixing the paint right there because it really gets all the paint around the sides and it agitates it something fierce here much more so than it would if you just made circles like this here. So what I've done is I've poured off some of the paint to make it easier for me to get all that sediment mixed in there. It's kind of reincorporating it into the thinners and everything. And now what we're going to do is dump the roller pan back in again, like so. Okay, so we finished prepping up the bottom here so that we can get paint in it. And I'd just like to show you a few things. You can see here that this is obviously still bottom paint. And it's ablative bottom paint because you can rub it right off with your finger and get dust on your finger and get paint right off of it. And this is gel coat. Now, we haven't stripped all the bottom paint off. And uh, you can see that the gel coat and the fiberglass is in perfect condition. So the boat's never had any uh, breakdown of resin problems or anything like that, blistering or anything like that. So we, uh, we don't want to strip the boat completely this year. So we're going to apply the bottom paint right over this bottom paint and right over this gel coat. We're going to give it two coats like recommended. We're just about to get started. We're going to pour some in the roller pan here. All right, we started painting back aft here, the propeller strut. And uh, we're just going to get that painted up first and then move on to the rudder and do some of the details of the bottom of the keel and things like that first. We wouldn't want to paint overhead before we get these things done. We get paint all over so. We don't want that. And, uh, so we're going to get the details that we have to do first with the brush and then move on to the roller. Now you don't want to be shy with it. You want to get enough on there. Be sure it's covered and we're actually going to give it another coat after. All right, we've touched up around some of the through hole fittings and done most of the keel and uh, the corner here a little bit and we're working our way up towards the cut water here and underneath. All right, I'm gonna dip the paint brush in the paint just a little bit, maybe a half an inch deep. Give it a little slap on both sides. I don't wanna really rub it on there because it'll rub all the paint off and then sometimes it creates bubbles, so you don't do that. All right, Kenneth is starting to roll out the bottom here and get the roller pan right in front of him there so he doesn't have to spin around in circles and do things like that to get the thing rolled out. All right, Kenneth is going to pick up a little paint on the roller by dipping it into the paint in the bottom there, roll it out a little bit up on the top of the pan. Now, you don't want to get too much on there because it'd be just coming off the ends of the roller and I'm making a mess. So, now there's a fair amount of paint on the roller and he's going to distribute it around a little bit and it's going to look a little bubbly. We just distribute it around a little bit more and then we'll just go back over that area again with a little bit drier roller and it'll kind of flatten some of those little bubbles out. And, and you know you've got it right. You just wouldn't want to have tons of paint on there because you can tell if you've got too much. It's just too bubbly every time you go over it. So, all right, you can see the coverage that you can get in one coat. That's one coat, and it's covering some green and covering some white and covering some blue, and all pretty much looks the same. But uh, we're gonna give it another whole coat after this one's applied because that's the recommended procedure. All right, and right now we're just dipping the end, the very end of the roller in the paint because we're not going to use the entire roller and get some paint applied underneath that lift guard there. All right, so all the prep work had been done and we've completed the port side. We're just about ready to complete the starboard side here, the rolling of the paint on. And uh, like I say, we did all the details from the bottom up. We painted it from the bottom up. That way we didn't get it all over ourselves and we didn't put too much on the roller and get it all over the ground. Or do anything like that and uh, you know it's come out nice and neat the area is not messy and uh, boats not messy and we're not messy we're just about to finish up there and uh, we've actually completed it without any hassle at all and uh, 
I bet you never knew that rolling out a bottom could be so much fun. It would probably foul a little early if we didn't give it that second coat. So we're gonna do that. And uh, actually, I've painted out the strut here and the rudder and this gear and a few other things the second time around at the end of the first coat. So those have got two coats of paint on it now, so we're just gonna roll out the rest of the bottom. All right, I'm applying the paint fairly liberally because I think that's the idea of it. You have to get a fair amount on there, otherwise it's not gonna do its job, and it definitely has a job to do because you're trying to keep the sea growth off of this boat so that it'll move along nicely. The first coat took about a quart, maybe just a little bit over a quart. This one might go on a little bit thinner, possibly. I guess the, we're gonna use probably about a half a gallon of paint on the entire job. Now it's 22 feet, it's a trip angler. So any boat about this size would take about a half a gallon for two coats. So we're rolling a quick coat on the lift rails here. And then Kenneth is just gonna tip it a little bit with a brush so he doesn't have to keep going back to the pan to get the paint. All right, Kenneth is doing a great job here. He's following up, doing his own tipping. And uh, we haven't made a mess of the boat. We haven't made a mess of the ground. And Kenneth hasn't made a mess of himself. So that's pretty much the idea. There's no need to be sloppy or anything like that. You get the job done nice and neat, and then you're kind of proud of your work afterwards.